Welcome back guys to another set review and today we got set 75207 Logistics 12 and it's the Imperial Patrol Battle Pack 99 pieces for 15 bucks. So here's the first figure in the set that I'm going to review, and he is the Stormtrooper, and I'm pretty sure since he has the black marks all over him, he's not exactly the standard white Stormtrooper. I think he's one of the police Stormtroopers that we'll see in the new movie. Also I'm pretty sure those legs right there, the black marks were the same ones from the Imperial Hover Tank, although I don't have that set so I'm not exactly sure. Let me know if you know the answer to that in the comments. Also, there's an entirely new mold on the Stormtrooper helmet, which I'll compare in a second. But this helmet is just awesome. I really like it. Looks really cool. At first I wasn't 100% sure about it, but I'm growing to like it a lot. There's just tons of detail on it. Some really good printing. Pretty sure it's doing all that as well. And you can see the rest of the torso. There's some buttons on it, some marks. Here's the back. And then angry clone like you saw earlier. No surprise there. So here is on the right the regular Stormtrooper, the previous version. You can see it's the standard helmet mold, just different printing. You can really see the differences. That top part above the visor is much more prominent. There's just a lot more detailing on the new figure, which is very nice. Here are the backs. I think the new figure is slightly taller with the new helmet, but they're pretty close. And you can see the helmet, how it's dual molded. So that's awesome. Stormtrooper variant and right here you can see the Imperial officer get in the battle pack That way you can just switch out the head and get tons of Imperial officers Which is awesome Here's the head you got the sideburns the mustache Pretty sure he's one of the characters in the movie Not just some regular officer I think he's the one talking to Silo in the trailer, the first one. You can see his medals he got. Looks like three blue ones and two red. There's a belt up there. And then just some wrinkles in the back side of the jacket with the belt. So, he's pretty basic, but it's absolutely perfect. Don't really need to do much to it. And here is the next figure of the set. I think it's one of those, you see them on the Death Star a lot. But this is actually my first figure with this type of helmet. And also I think the, the head is awesome because you can also switch it out on the Flight Rebels on the Tanta 4 and you get a little bit of variation. Because those are just standard like smiley faces. Hopefully we get an updated version with like an antenna on top of the helmet. That would be amazing and much more accurate. And you can see the torso. 
pretty good, cool detailing. And then there's also some really nice detailing in the back. Oh, there's also an alternate face. I didn't even, I didn't even know that. Well, that's awesome. You do get a double-sided face in this set. And then the top of the helmet has some indents on it for the dots. And that looks really cool. So I'm a big fan of that figure too. So on to the main build of the set. This is definitely a great build for the speeder. Some cool pieces in here, some nice Technic ones that you can just easily move up like this. It's not the full thing, it's not one piece, there's actually two pieces in there. You can tell by the, the little line in the middle, making it multiple pieces, not just one. And the Stormtrooper, yeah, he, he falls kind of a little bit, but once you get him in there, he should be good. Doesn't really fall out, but yeah. He's just a little bit loose. Can't actually hold on to the handlebars either, which is a bummer. See, look, he just fell. But it's all right. Let's get him out of the way. And then you can just see the handlebars that might be blasters. I think they probably will be. But I'm curious if I can figure out if this is actually based off of the movie and if they actually have like cannons here. I mean, not cannons, but laser cannons. And then one of those bionicle pieces right here. So that's cool. And then on this side, it's a little bit different. There's another one of these, either like another laser cannon maybe, but I'm not sure yet. Just have to wait for the movie, see if it's actually in there. And then there's these printed Imperial logos on the one by one round tile, which is Absolutely amazing locating printed tiles and battle packs. And you do get an extra piece, which I'll show in a second. And you can flip up all of these. This shows you how to make it. It's pretty simple, but it's very effective. And then some nice use of those pieces in the back for jets. It's a top view. And then the gray actually looks really good from the black to the dark gray to the regular gray pieces. looks really good. So I do think this set will be in the solo movie. Not the set, but what the set, its main build is based off of. Also this right here, this just little cutout of the slopes looks very smooth. Here are the extra pieces you get in this set, and then there's that awesome tile. So at first, when I got this battle pack, I got the Clone Trooper battle pack as well. And the difference in the Last Jedi box, boxer in the top right corner, here's the magazine you can just see. I really like the solo one more, I think, because it just really, looks really nice and yellow, actually with all the guys in the Kessler and the Millennium Falcon up there. So I've grown to like this one a lot. It show, shows you the Stormtrooper, which is new to the set, which I think all the figures are too. Maybe not this person, but... Yeah, and then you can just see some industrial part of Corellia, with like some moisture or smoke or uh, fog probably fog but yeah so that would be cool to see the chase scene and then just some more of the industrial park curly on the back and then the guys you can see what they're doing and what they can do in the set and all of them are really big fan of this set the figures are great there's some new stormtrooper hunt bolts and some printing and the officer is a surprise to be sure but a wealthy one and the other figure is pretty good too at least it's not that other one that's just thrown in battle packs like the first order one but yeah that's gonna be all for the, for the review guys definitely pick this up if you haven't already it's a great set i would definitely love to mass up the figures in this set i'll probably get another one i don't know how much I will get because I need the pieces for my other mock. 
make sure you check out my other videos. If you like this review, check out some other ones. I have some ones that are better in my opinion and funnier, like the Octeo one. And yeah, thanks for watching.